Hey, this is Taylor with the top 25 keyboard shortcuts for Windows 10 that save you the most time when working in Windows. You'll do this by learning how to split your screen multiple different ways, find your files and applications, multitask across multiple desktops, cascade your windows, shortcut your favorite program, and so much more, all in the name of getting you to happy hour. Shortcuts like this are the fastest way that I know of to double your productivity, whatever program you're working in, and to make life a little bit easier for you, I've created a free PDF cheat sheet that you can download directly beneath this video. Top shortcut number one, the Windows Search Shortcut, which I believe is the most useful Windows 10 shortcut you might not be using yet. And the Windows Search Shortcut is simply either hitting the Windows key or the Control Escape key. Either one is going to launch what's now called Cortana, which allows you to hit the buttons, I'll hit the Windows key, and start typing something you're looking for. So if you want to find Excel, you can see Excel automatically pops up. If I type PowerPoint, notice I don't even have to continue or finish typing PowerPoint to have PowerPoint pop up. If you want to find your Bluetooth speakers or something like that, just type Bluetooth and you're going to see Bluetooth and other devices pops up. This is the fastest way to find programs and system level settings on your computer. You just simply all right, hit the Windows or Control Escape key, type what you're looking for. I'm looking for my mouse now. You're going to see change your mouse settings pops up. Now you can use this to look for uh, files, so top shortcuts on your computer. You even have a document filter up top, but this is not the fastest way. I don't recommend trying to find files through this Windows search shortcut. I'll show you a better shortcut for doing that. This is for settings and applications only using Windows or the Control Escape keyboard shortcuts. Top shortcut number two, your favorite program shortcut, which takes just a couple of seconds to set up. And your favorite program or application shortcut is simply going to be the Windows key plus the number one. And here's how it's going to work. Here's a snapshot of my desktop. Notice I have these programs sitting at the bottom of my screen on my taskbar. Once you set this up, these become Windows plus number keyboard shortcuts. So Windows plus one, two, three, etc., which makes sense for setting up your most frequently used programs here on your taskbar to create these easy to use shortcuts. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this with Excel, but you can do this with absolutely any program on Windows, including the Windows snipping tool, if that's what you want to do, as I show you in my other video. So the way to set this up, I'm going to again do Excel to set up this Windows one keyboard shortcut. I'm going to first hit Windows search. So just hit the Windows key. I'll start typing Excel. I don't have to finish typing Excel for it to populate here in Windows. I'll right click the program and select pin to taskbar pin the taskbar, click and drag it with your mouse all the way here to the left position. So this is the number one first position. Now of which, if I just hit the Windows one keyboard shortcut, you're going to see Excel automatically opens. So I'll use a shortcut to close it. So Windows one is now going to automatically open Excel, allowing me to dive into my favorite program if Excel was it, so I could start saving time. And if at any time you want to remove the program you've pinned here, just right click, select unpin from taskbar, and that program is going to disappear. Top shortcut number three, the file explorer shortcut, which is the fastest way for finding files on your computer. So whereas the windows key is the fastest way to find programs and settings, windows E is the fastest way to find your file. So hitting windows E is going to launch the file explorer, which is a much more robust system, just windows E for searching through your computer. You have filtering options. You can sort, you can look for things. You even have searches. I'll talk about that shortcut in just a second. So windows E is a super important keyboard shortcut, and I don't recommend putting it here in the first position for your favorite shortcut because it simply has the windows E keyboard shortcut to automatically launch your file explorer. Top shortcut number four, the file explorer search shortcut, which you can double up on in your web browser too. So once you've launched your file explorer windows E, or you've dug into file explorer, you can always search your file explorer with control E. So I'm going to hit windows E to open up my file explorer. I'm going to click into my windows shortcut stack. Now notice the search box. So instead of clicking in with your mouse at any time, just hit control E and your cursor is going to automatically jump up there. So if I want to see shortcut number 12, I just type 12. You can see the cascade shortcut pops open. If I want to see my snapping tool, the snapping tool shortcuts will pop up. Now, the cool thing about this search, folder and why it's better than the Windows search is you can search by kind, size, properties, date modified. There's a lot of search functionality and options up here in your search box that I'm not going to get into, but you can get there. Control E at any time. This also works. I'm going to hit Windows 2 to open Chrome, which is in the second position down on my screen. In Chrome or most web browsers, if you hit Control E, notice you pop up directly to the search bar. So Control E when you're surfing the web, I will type our website, nuts and bolts speed training. 
there to search for something, you can just control E is automatically gonna jump you up there. So it's actually a double dipper keyboard shortcut. Top shortcut number five, the switch application shortcut, which is your first of a few interesting multitasking shortcuts in Windows 10. So your first multitasking shortcut is the Alt plus Tab key to jump you between two of your most recently active programs. So here I'm in PowerPoint active. If I now move to the Word PDF cheat sheet that comes with this video, if you want to download it, hitting Alt Tab is going to pop me back and forth between those two programs, allowing me to maximize my screen space, right? I don't have to try to split my screens between the different programs, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. Instead, it lets you be full screen and just switch between your two programs. This was the first keyboard shortcut I learned in the corporate world. It's one I still use to this day. So Alt Tab, and you can see there's this little black screen that pops up, which I'll show you how to freeze in a second, is your first multitasking shortcut for saving time working with multiple files at the same time. Top shortcut number six, the application free shortcut, which is another way you can multitask between different programs. Your second multitasking shortcut is Alt Control Tab. So whereas Alt Tab will jump you between your two most recent programs, holding the control key in there with there and letting go is gonna open up your switch application dialog box, allowing you to click into whichever programs you want. So there's PowerPoint, here's Word, and then I can Alt Tab between those two most recently active programs. If you wanna jump to a third program, Control Alt Tab is gonna pop open all of the open applications. So this is just another way or preference that you can jump between and multitask between files here in Windows 10, which leads us to the newest way to multitask in Windows 10. Top shortcut number seven, the new Windows 10 multitasking view shortcut. So instead of hitting Alt plus the tab key to switch applications, now you can also hit the Windows key plus the tab key to open up this new multitasking view. So Windows tab is going to open up. You're gonna see all of your open programs. And the newest thing is you can now scroll through the most recent documents you've worked on here in the multitasking view. So Windows tab will show you not only the programs you have to work with, not only the most recent programs you've been working with, but this is also where you can manage your virtual desktops. And I'll talk about managing these virtual desktops and flipping between them in just a second. So this is yet another way, Windows tab, that you can choose this is a personal preference if this is how you want to switch programs and multitask in Windows 10. Top shortcut number eight, the switch virtual desktop shortcut, which is good for setting up three, four or more documents that you want to work on at the same time. Your switch virtual desktop shortcut is control windows plus the left or right arrow. But first you need to set this up. So hit windows tab on your keyboard to open up your multitasking view. So here on my second virtual desktop, you can add as many virtual desktops as you want. Let's say I wanna work on this Excel file and I also wanna work on this PDF cheat sheet here in Word. So here on my second desktop, if I click into it, I'm only going to see my Word document and my Excel document, all right, which I can Alt tab between here on my second virtual desktop. If I Windows control to the left, I'm gonna move back to my other desktop where I have this PowerPoint file and this folder. So here on this first virtual desktop, I can Alt tab between the two as I'm working away. When I then wanna work on my Excel and Word document, control Windows to the right arrow, and I can then flip between just those two documents. So in this way, you can create multiple virtual desktops that you can then flip between multiple files. And at any time, just Windows tab, you can click into a virtual desktop and just click and drag files um, onto the other desktop if you wanna work on them there. Top shortcut number nine, the minimize all windows keyboard shortcut, which I like to call the desktop drill. If you're like most people I know, you're probably using your desktop as an open placeholder for your active folders or files that you're working on, which can be problematic for finding those files when you have a bunch of different windows open like this. So this is where the Windows D desktop drill or minimize all your windows keyboard shortcut, Windows D comes in handy. So windows D will immediately take you to your desktop, minimizing all of your open or active windows. If you don't open anything, if hitting Windows D a second time will bring everything back into its place that you already have open, but if you do, Windows D, there's the keyboard shortcut PDF. You can download directly through this video that I wanna work on. As I open that up, now Windows D will just keep that one open and all my other windows will stay minimized. So this is a super fast way if you too use your desktop as an open place holder for working on your files to find the files that are buried beneath all your active windows on your desktop. Top shortcut number 10, the minimize all but one window shortcut that hardly anybody knows about. Let's say that I have this folder open and I want to Windows D get this Word document into that folder. The question is, how do you do that without all right, having to minimize all of these windows individually? What you need to do is simply grab the window. This is just a mouse keyboard shortcut and shake. So for example, if I grab this window and with my mouse, I click and hold and I shake, notice that I minimize all windows except the open window so that I could then click and drag 
all right, that document here into this folder. Windows shake again, and all of the other windows will open up. This is also useful, all right, this window shake. Imagine if this was my email server. I wanted to window shake down. I wanted to grab something, attach it to an email, window shake back open, and all of the other applications will open again. Just make sure that when you're doing this, you give it a sharp little shake and sharp little shake again to activate the shortcut. So that's your minimize all but one window mouse shortcut. Top shortcut number 11, your split screen windows or windows snap shortcuts. And your split screen shortcuts are really four different keyboard shortcuts, but I'm just gonna count them as one for this video. So windows plus the left, right, up or down arrow keys. And the way this works, let's say I wanna split screen this PowerPoint file, I'll windows to the left. Windows will automatically, assuming I don't already have a window split here, will give me some options. I'm gonna split this between my PDF shortcut cheat sheet, which you can download directly beneath this video with all of these Windows shortcuts. So here is a double split screen. I can select my PowerPoint file and Windows up to create a third split. You can even go to a fourth split if you want, but basically you're just using the Windows up, right, left, down arrow keys to create these different splits. And as long as you have don't have something split there, all right, Windows to the left, you're going to get the option to split another working document. And I'll show you a cool PowerPoint trick in just a second. But another cool thing is you can set up Windows control to the right. If you set up multiple virtual desktops, I will Windows to the right, snap that one. You can have two files here or three files or four files snap like this. Control Windows to the left. You can have two more files like this. So this is another way that you can create a unique multitasking scenario if you're working with a ton of different files and you need to flip it back and forth between them. Now, one cool little PowerPoint trick here is that not a lot of people know about is if you split your PowerPoint files, you can actually take one slide from one presentation and just drag it into the other, which creates a copy of those slides. I'll take these, holding shift, I'll drag them over there. This is a fast way if you work back and forth between presentations and PowerPoint to get slides from one presentation into another. And if you want to learn a bunch of other cool PowerPoint hacks and tricks like this, check out my free mini series in the description box below this video. Top shortcut number 12 and number 13, the cascade and uncascade shortcuts. Your cascade and uncascade shortcuts is a combination of right-clicking your mouse and hitting the D or the U key, but you have to right-click your taskbar. So in this case, look, I have all these open files. Let's say I want to cascade them all. I just right-click and hit D. All of my files will cascade, allowing me to either come through and close them out by clicking these X's. And I'll show you a keyboard shortcut for doing that in a minute. You can also click to find your program you're looking for. If you right click and hit U, it will bring all of your files or open windows back to how they currently were or previously were. So right click D will cascade quickly. Right click U will uncascade. The key is you do have to right click your taskbar to make those keyboard shortcuts work. Top shortcut number 14, the show windows stack shortcut, which is a fast alternative to snapping or cascading your open windows. Another cool shortcut off of your taskbar is to right click it and hit E to see all of your windows stacked, which will help you work with lots of files and windows. So if I have a bunch of windows open, if I hit alt control tab, you can see I have a bunch of different files open. Well, if I want to see them stacked on my desktop, I can right click and hit E, which will stack all of my open windows in these little miniaturized windows. Right click U will undo that. So right click E will stack all of the multiple windows you have open. You can find the window you want, snap it to the size of your computer screen to create that split screen effect. And here I'll split the screen with my PowerPoint file. So that's your right click your taskbar E stack windows keyboard shortcut. Top shortcut number 15, your cycle application shortcut, which works great when working with your Microsoft Office documents. The cycle application shortcut is control F6. And what that does is cycle whatever program you're in. So if I'm in Word, all right, notice I have two Word files open. If I alt tab, I'm gonna pop back to PowerPoint because that's where I just was. But if I'm in Word and I hit control F6, I'm just gonna cycle between whatever Word files I have open so I don't have to worry about my Excel or my PowerPoint files. If I then go back to PowerPoint, I come to cycle applications and I control F6, I'm just gonna cycle through which will save you a bunch of time from otherwise having to find the file that you wanna work on next. Top shortcut number 16, the close file shortcut, which you can double dip on with the multitasking view shortcut, Windows tab. The Windows 10 close file shortcut is Control W, which will close out of the file without closing out the application. So for example, here is an Excel file that's open, it's blank. If I hit Control W, I will close out of the file, but Excel stays open so I can continue working in it, opening new documents, etc. But if you have multiple, right here I have one PowerPoint file open, here I have two PowerPoint files open. If I hit Control W on this PowerPoint file, that entire window will close because I still have this application open. So Control W is a fast way 
all right? So just close out of a file you're working on. And if you've made an edit, say I've edited that, I control W, it's still gonna ask you to save it. So you're never gonna lose your work when you use control W to close a file. And to multitask off it in the multitasking view, as you start to walk around here, you can control W keyboard shortcut to close out of these different files, which here, if there's no more file open, it will also close out of the application. So that's a little double dipper keyboard shortcut for control W that you can use in the multitasking view shortcut, Windows tab on your keyboard. Top shortcut number 17, the close application shortcut, which is a more intense version of the close file shortcut. Hitting Alt F4 on your keyboard will close out of your file and your application. So if I come to that PDF cheat sheet that I keep opening, you can download it directly beneath this video. If I hit Alt F4 and I've made no changes, Word and the file, you can see Word is no longer open. Whereas if you're in a file, so you don't have to worry about losing your work, if you change something, Alt F4, it will ask if you want to save your changes before you actually close out of the file and the program. And where you can use this as a double dipper with the Windows D keyboard shortcut, so Windows D to your desktop, Alt F4 will actually launch your shutdown Windows operation, hit enter, and your computer will start to shut down automatically, sleep, etc. So that is your Alt F4 close application or actually even close down your computer keyboard shortcut. Top shortcut number 18, the new application shortcut, which is great for moving things around with File Explorer. The new application shortcut is just Control N, which will create a new instance. Control N will create a new instance of whatever application you're currently in. But where this really is useful, if I hit Windows E, to launch my file explorer. Let's say here in my file explorer, I want to crawl through some of these different folders, but I want to drag folders in between. So I can hit control N to also create a new file explorer. Windows left arrow will snap it. I will snap or split screen with this one. This now allows me to dig through the different files on my computer and you know start to drag things left to right, etc. So that is the Windows N new application shortcut, which is extremely useful when creating split screens with your file explorers to move files around your computer. Top shortcut number 19, the create new folder shortcut. Similar to the new application shortcut, control N, if you throw in a shift key, you can create a new folder on your desktop or in any file explorer window. So if I windows E to open file explorer, let's say I'm here in this window, control shift N will start a new folder that I can name. I'll name it Taylor's folder, hit enter. Control Shift N will create another one. That's just a fast way you can create a bunch of new folders to move files around in File Explorer. Or if you're on your desktop, Windows D, Control Shift N will create a new folder here as well. So that is the new folder, keyboard shortcut, Control Shift N on your keyboard. Top shortcut number 20, the Create New Office Files shortcut for quickly loading up the new folders you create in File Explorer. Once you've created some new folders, you can right click W and select to load up your new folders with new office files. So if I just Windows D to come back to that new folder I created just a second ago, if I now want to load this up with new office documents, I can right click in W, will open up this little flywheel that lets me add, right, a Microsoft Word document, Taylor's Word document. Let's say that this is a project, so I'm also gonna right click W, I'm gonna need an Excel file. I'm gonna right click W, I'm not gonna name it. So this is a fast way that you can throw a bunch of different document types into a folder without having to first open the file, save as, etc., you can then open these and they will start as new blank files that you can work with. So that is the create new office file shortcut. Right click with your mouse within a new folder, hit W and just simply select what you wanna create. Top shortcut number 21, your file explorer navigation shortcuts, which also work when surfing the web. Your navigational shortcuts are Alt plus left arrow to move backwards and Alt plus right arrow to move forward. So if I Windows E to open up my file explorer and I dig into, all right, this, this folder, I'll dig into another folder, Alt left arrow is going to walk me back the same direction I, I just came from and Alt forward arrow will walk me forward. Now it's important to note that this is only following your history of how you walked through your folders, all right? This is not jumping you up a folder level, which you can click up here to jump up a folder level. So this is just, Alt left arrow to walk you back, Alt right arrow to walk you forwards, which is the same keyboard shortcuts you can use for going forwards and backwards in most modern web browsers. Top shortcut number 22, the preview file shortcut, which saves you from otherwise having to open and close a bunch of files to find what you're looking for. A great shortcut for the file explorer is Alt plus P to preview a file before you have to open it. So if I open up a file explorer, let's say that I'm not sure which one of these documents is the one I wanna find. So I just select the file, Alt P will open up a preview pane and you can see exactly what that file looks like before you open it. 
Now, if I click on a Word document, you can see I can also scroll through the document to find or see if this is the actual file before I actually open it. So this is a super fast way to quickly view your files. Now, just one little heads up, because this does use your system RAM, when you're not using it, I would just hit Alt-P to close back out of it. So that's Alt-P to open or close the preview pane in your file explorer. Top shortcut number 23, the document property shortcut for quickly getting information about a file or folder. To see the properties for a file or folder in Windows 10, simply hold the Alt key and double click it with your mouse. So if I Windows D to my desktop, I'm trying to save space on my computer, I can Alt double click to immediately see how big this folder is, when it was created. All right, there's some other security settings, but generally I'm just looking for size. So if I wanna see this folder, Alt double click, this one's only 6KG, double click, this one's 703 megabytes. So this is just a fast way, and if I open up a folder, Alt double click will show you all the property details for that file as well. So that is the file or folder property shortcut. Just hold the Alt key on your keyboard and double click with your mouse. Top shortcut number 24, one of my personal favorites, the screen clipping shortcut. Now in Windows 10, you have a couple of applications to help you clip your screen. You have the new Windows Ink workspace and you have the snipping tool, which I show you how to shortcut in my other videos here on YouTube. My favorite screen clipping shortcut in Windows 10 is Windows Shift S, which used to be a one note shortcut, but now it's just Windows 10. Windows Shift S will white out your screen. You can click and drag, all right, to snip whatever part of it you want. And if you paste it into a newer version of PowerPoint, you're now gonna get these new slide design ideas, which is a fast way to create slide backgrounds, which you can check out my other video if you wanna see how to leverage this best. But the great thing about adding your screen clippings here in PowerPoint is if you Shift F5, you can, if you have a pen or with your mouse, Control P is the inking shortcut. If you don't have a pen, you can create this ink scenario all right but when you hit escape and select keep this becomes a second layer on top of your PowerPoint slide you can also another advantage I talk about in my other videos all right you can add annotations or banners and stuff like that so that is my favorite way to clip my screen in Windows 10 with the Windows shift S shortcut and finally top shortcut number 25 your action center shortcut for finding your system level settings on your computer and your Action Center shortcut is just Windows A. Hitting Windows A will open up some of the most frequently used things you'll probably want to do on your computer, which is why it made this top 25 list. All settings, change your networks, tablet mode, airplane mode, change the brightness, see what kind of Bluetooth device you have connected to your computer. Windows A will open them all up. You even have project to other monitors, which will save you a bunch of time, Windows A, when you want to do these things on your computer. Now yours might start collapsed. Simply click expand to see all the different options you have here with the Windows A keyboard shortcut. And that wraps up these top 25 keyboard shortcuts that save you the most time when working in Windows 10 and will start to double your productivity. And if you want to grab a PDF cheat sheet of these top 25 keyboard shortcuts and see additional resources that will help get you to happy hour, just look for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolt Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.